My name is Alicia Shaw, I'm a teacher at St John Paul II. Today I'm going to be talking to you about Christianity yeah, and specifically section three and how to integrate uh, information from year 11. Yeah. Unfortunately, I can't use my little clicker things, so I'm going to have to stand right in front of this. So when you look at section three in the extended response, automatically up the, on the top of every question, you get this information okay, about what you're going to be assessed on. The two things that are relevant in terms of year 11 are the first two sections, demonstrate knowledge and understanding relevant to the question and incorporate significant aspects of religion to illustrate your answer. So one of the most important things, and I'll get you to write this down, is you must know your syllabus. Okay, not just for year 11, uh, not just for year 12, but also for year 11. Okay, even though you aren't being specifically tested on those concepts, some questions that come up will require you to have knowledge around that. Does everybody here, has any, uh, hands up those students who've already done Christianity? Okay, so by now, if you've already done Christianity, you should know off the top of your head, and this is obviously a requirement, who your significant person is, what ethics you're doing, okay, and also your practice. That's really, really important. Along with that, you need to know the principal beliefs of Christianity, the sacred texts, and the core ethical teachings, because some of the questions that you're asked aren't straight up and say, you need to discuss the uh, significant person that you wrote in relation to this statement. Okay, sometimes the questions are broader. Right now, in pairs or threes, I want you to think about, off the top of your head, what are the core beliefs, uh, the principal beliefs of Christianity, the sacred texts, and the core ethical teachings? Okay, take two minutes to see if you can remember. Okay, so can anybody put their hand up and tell us what are some of the principal beliefs of Christianity? No, don't be shy. Yes. Salvation. Good, salvation. Another one. Okay, uh, about the divinity of Jesus. Yep. Anybody else? Yep. Yep, good. Yes. Revelation. Excellent. Okay. That's a good start. Sacred text, everyone should have this one. Yep. Okay, and core ethical teachings. Luckily, I have them here for you. So, yeah, we're pretty good. We've ran through uh, the principal beliefs, okay, sacred text, and core ethical teachings. Now, you need to know the Ten Commandments. Okay, you need to know specifically where they are referenced in the Bible. Okay, so these are some things you might want to write down. You need to understand the Beatitudes and Jesus' commandment of love. Now, the interesting thing about the Ten Commandments is it's not just about thou shall not. Okay, you need to know that. You need to know what the flip side of that is. So if we can't do this, what should we be doing? Okay, you need to draw that out. Before we go on, one thing I want to say is that remember we need to know that this is Christianity, not Catholicism. Now, this is where a lot of students in Catholic schools fall down because a lot of them um, have come from Catholic schools from kindergarten to year 12 and they think, yep, I know it. Yeah, I, know, I know Christianity. Okay, except you have to have information from other denominations as well, okay, not just Christianity, that, that's Catholicism. That's really, really important. The other thing is that you actively need to study this topic. Again, we fall into the same trap. Oh, I've been in a Catholic school my whole life. I know this. I'll just write it off the top of my head. Doesn't work. Okay, it has to be planned. You have to know your syllabus. You have to have quotes ready okay, when you walk in, not just trying to think, oh, vaguely, yeah, I remember this from somewhere. This is a question that was from 2013. Some religions emphasize justice while others emphasize compassion. What I'm going to get you to do is in groups, okay, just where you're sitting, is figure out how does the information that you know about your sacred person, significant practice and ethics match up with your year 11 knowledge on principal beliefs, sacred texts and core ethical teachings. Okay, so I want you to go ahead and do that. And again, I'm going to ask some people to volunteer. In a couple of minutes, I'm going to ask for some people to volunteer how they connected the year 11 dot points to this question. But first, I'm just going to go through some notes from the marking center from that year. So it says, in higher range responses, candidates made informed judgments in relation to compassion and justice as referred to in the uh, stimulus. First thing, you must refer to the stimulus statement consistently and relevantly throughout your entire response. It doesn't mean just keep writing out the quote. 
Yeah, but you need to integrate that. They also demonstrated how one or both of these elements were evident in Christianity as a living religious tradition. Okay, that's a really important statement. Write down the words living religious tradition. Okay, if you can use that in your response okay, and then talk about how Christianity is a living religious tradition, okay, that's one of those uh, buzz statements for the markers. And the next part is obviously directly how this relates to Year 11 content. Candidates drew on a broad range of knowledge, including foundational teachings and practices of Christianity from the preliminary course to reinforce their uh, premise and back up their knowledge of the HSC course in their response. So remember, you need to look over your notes from year 11. You need to know those points of the syllabus off by heart. You need to be able to, you need to practice beforehand how you are going to integrate these sections in past, response, in past papers. You, you shouldn't be going in cold. Yeah, and these responses were supported with reference to sacred texts, including gospel accounts and the writings of Paul in the form of citations in their answers. Meaning that you also have to have your own material, your okay, own quotes that you've gathered okay, and be able to include those in your response. Uh, hands up those students who are doing Paul as their significant person. Okay, so this, he fits in really well with this question. That's not to say that others don't. At my school, we do Paul. Okay, so that's what I know. This is another question. Okay. Again, I want you to go through and see how you can, oh, sorry, I've jumped the gun there. Who's got some answers for the previous question? How could we link our year 11 content to the question? I'll put the question back up again. Lots of people had good ideas as I was going around. Don't be afraid. Everyone has to earn their lunch here, not just the presenters. Yes. Good, okay, how? Uh, by using the, the ones that make sense, like at our school we do bioethics, so things like thou shalt not feel blessed than me. Yep, excellent. Come on guys, we've had one brave soul. There was lots of chat, come on. Yes, thank you. Um, we have to reflect it with contemporary values as well to relate it to the quote, but also to the diversity of expression. So it basically can also limit us to what we can talk about, so mainly ethics and marriage. Yep, okay. Yes. Um, the, death the death and resurrection of Christ was a sign of love, and that emphasizes compassion. So Christianity's core around Jesus is emphasizing compassion rather than justice. As the yep, says. excellent. Yeah, they're very good responses. Thank you, Parramatta Marist. Yep. All right, guys, so in the, our remaining minutes, we're going to go again, and I'm going to ask people who aren't from Parramatta Marist to contribute. Yep. So it says, how do ethical teachings in Christianity guide adherents to do what is good? Okay, again, it gives you there a little bit more information than the previous question. It gives you uh, that you're looking at ethics, but remember, you're not just limited to that. Okay, this is where knowing your syllabus comes in. How can you, again, reflect the knowledge of Year 11 in this question? Go for it. All right, guys, I'm going to purposely ignore this section. Over here, who can give me some responses as to how you can input Year 11 content into this question, even if you haven't started Christianity in your study for Year 12? And I was walking around talking to people. People had some good ideas. All right, crickets, excellent. Thank you. Uh, something about the Ten Commandments. Yep, how? Quite, um, that relates to bioethics in that thou shalt not kill, that relates to abortion, and um, yeah, and the golden rule as well as um, the Beatitudes, they all kind of relate to bioethics. Yep, so can you name a specific part of the Beatitudes, or is that something you need to work on? I'll take you out of the hot seat. Like, thank you very much for volunteering. <laughs> Anybody? Oh, up the back, thank you. Yep. yep, good. Okay, so everyone's got an idea of how they could link that at the areas of Year 11. The hard part is getting the specifics nailed down, okay, knowing which beatitude or which part of the Ten Commandments and how to explain that 
as a part of that answer. That's the hard part. So the best way that um, I've come across doing this is actually drawing up a grid. So part of your study should be looking at past papers, writing the question down and drawing up a grid. Okay, what, how does this link to my significant person, practice, ethics? On the other side of that grid, how, do I, how can I put principal beliefs, core ethical teachings, and sacred texts into this response as well. So you should have a grid drawn up for every past paper question that you can automatically go to, where you've got quotes already written down. You don't have to bother struggling to find them. You then take those grids, and in 35 minutes, you attempt to write the question. Okay, so you've seen two quite different questions there. One that doesn't even refer to any of the areas that you study in Year 12 explicitly. So the, the point of this is that every single question that you get in Section 3 you need to go back to knowledge from year 11. Okay? Principal beliefs, sacred texts, as well as core ethical teachings. What I've also put up on the Google Classroom is a couple of responses that have already been written, and they have quotes. Okay? They show how sacred texts can be integrated. They show how the principal beliefs can be integrated. I encourage you to read through that, grab one of those grids drawn up, and actually put those quotes and that information into those grids. Okay? So I've already given you two pieces of information, you don't have to go searching. Please use the information that you learn in class. Okay, years of teaching this subject, for some reason, the exercise book or the classroom notes are not the first go-to area. Okay, what you do in class relates directly to the exam. Okay, go through and pick those things out. Have them in those easy to read formats so you can automatically go to them and do those responses. Okay, thanks for listening, guys. You've been a great audience.